Hey everyone, um, so I have been getting a bunch of messages for a couple of days now, and I've been trying to figure out what they're for, um, and at this point, I, I like did a whole, I, there are a bunch of cards here spread out, um, like a, whole, a ton of cards. I feel like I have a really clear image of what's going on. I feel like there are two people who are arguing or fighting. Um, and it started out the other morning I woke up and, and my candle is crackling, which that's confirmation from spirit. So I woke up, um, and the first thing that came to mind was like this song that I, that a coworker used to play at an old job that I didn't even know the name of. I had to like look it up by the lyrics. And, um, and it's called uh, Sloppy Seconds by Watsky, and it was just a really good song. I'll probably, I think I'll put like, I'll put it in the um, explanation at the bottom, but anyway. So basically this song is about like not being judged by your mistakes and how like mistakes kind of make a person who they are and, and um, yeah, and and then the next day I woke up and the first song that came to mind, <laughs> again, it was so weird. First thought that came to my brain as I woke up was Medicine by Queen Naja. And that song is all about, like, giving somebody a taste of their own medicine. So, when I was really thinking about what this could mean, especially after I did the card spread and even before, I just feel like there's somebody who wants to, well, okay, so the lyrics to the first song are like, I don't care how many miles you've been, um, I'll still love you. And, um, I feel like somebody wants unconditional love, they feel like they have unconditional love for somebody, but I feel like they really, really want unconditional love, and they're testing somebody, and they're like, um, and maybe they're, they're acting in a way that, and, and I want to say too, this can be a sibling, this can be a friend, this can be a lover, this can be, um, anyone, okay? So, I feel like, Somebody feels like they're being judged for a mistake that they made. And they're like, well, you're supposed to love me unconditionally. I love you unconditionally. And then the other person is over there with that other song. And they're like, okay, well, literally the lyrics are like, how would you like it if I do the things you do? Give you a taste of your own medicine. They're like, I, if I did what you did, you wouldn't be happy. Person one would not allow person two to get away with what with what they're doing. So person two is holding person one accountable and person one doesn't like it. But person two is like, well, if I did it, you would hold me accountable. And they're like, yeah, but you're supposed to love me unconditionally. But maybe there was situations in the past where um, that was not the case. So, basically, yeah, it's like, there two people are just not on the same page right now. Perspective is a big issue. And, um, I basically feel like somebody, somebody, person, I'm gonna call these people person, person one is Watsky Sloppy Seconds. <laughs> person two is Queen Naja, um, Medicine, okay? And then the outcome is literally, talk to me by I forget who, but it's literally like, y'all just need to talk, <laughs> because it's like there's a huge disconnect here. But so, person one feels like they're being judged for their mistakes, and person two is like, I'm not judging you, I just want you to take responsibility because you make me take responsibility for my mistakes, and I'm not allowed to act the way you act. So I'm holding you accountable. It's not fun for person two to hold person one accountable, it sure as heck isn't. And I want to say, too, a lot more in this spread came out about person one than person two. So I feel like person two is often more passive or submissive in this relationship. And I feel like person two is finally, was like finally speaking their truth and it really riled up person one. So, um, 
Yeah, all right. So off the bat, we had um, these three cards. They came out all at the same time. So person one is like, they are missing you. They feel like they're on the outside looking in. This is the person who wants to act however they want to act, okay? So they're they're missing you, um, and, and I feel like you might not, I don't know why I'm assuming person two is watching this, but person two doesn't feel this because I don't feel there's any communication right now. Like, if you're, like, I don't think there's any communication. This was not a good fight. I, I also really feel like this was a sibling or a friend fight, or it could be a spouse fight too, or a lover's quarrel as well, but, um... Yeah, so anyway, this person is on the outside looking in. They don't want to fight with you, but they also don't want to admit that they were wrong. It's a lot, it would be a lot of work on themselves to admit that they were wrong. And also, whatever it is that they're upset about was triggering to them. And they're like in their emotions right now. Like, and especially if you're siblings, whatever it is that was going on at the time of whatever triggered this was very um, reminiscent of your childhood. It was like pushing the buttons from childhood traumas or childhood memories or what have you. Whatever it was, it it's deep. It goes deep and it would be a lot of work to heal, so instead they're kind of just, like, on the outside looking in, spying on you, or they, like, run up on you, like, you might be at work and they might just show up, or, like, you might have your space and they come into it, or, like, or maybe they're looking in from social media and keeping an eye on you, maybe they're asking other people about you and keeping tabs on you, like, if you're family members, maybe they're asking, like, like, if you got more than one sibling, maybe they're asking other siblings. Like, if you have a big group of friends, maybe they're asking other friends. Um, yeah, I also strongly feel like person one gossips a lot more than person two. I feel like person two is more, like, their problems are their problems. And I feel like person one... And, and I'm not saying that they don't talk about it. Like, I think they confide in people that they trust. But I feel like... Person one kind of has, like, that more... Person one has much more work to do on themselves. Person one needs a lot more healing. And, like, the reason I say that is because now um, we're moving on to this next set of cards. Um, yeah, so one card from randomly fell off my other deck, and it went with these ones when these fell out. This person is deep within themselves, like, they are focusing on them right now, they, like, and not in a good way, <laughs> like, they are just, like, and the Hierophant Reverse came out, like, that's a know-it-all, like, this person thinks that they know it all, they think that, like, whatever is going on in the fight, like, it doesn't matter your side of the story, like, they are deeply entwined in their own thoughts, their own demons, their own triggers, and these are karmic ties, too, they could be. Um, like, you, y'all might have, um, if you believe in, like, reincarnation and stuff, y'all might have planned to be in the same family so that you could learn life lessons together, so that you could learn about this kind of communication and grow, so that you could, so you could ascend the next life, and, um, if you believe in reincarnation, but yeah, basically this person is defensive, they, like, look, there's, like, a sword coming in from here, I feel like they... They felt like maybe in the fight you were attacking them, and maybe your communication came off as cutting. Maybe you didn't mean to. Maybe you had a certain thing that you wanted to say that was kind of, like, deep-rooted, or maybe it wasn't even deep-rooted. Maybe you just kind of blurted it out without thinking, and in the heat of the moment. Yes, that's it, in the heat of the moment. Look, there's fire back there. You blurted something out in the heat of the moment, and they're like, what? Excuse me? I don't think so. Like, they're, they're like, huh? Like, with their, like, weapon thingy. They're like, oh, hell no. They, they're like, what's that over there? Yeah, no, you blurted something out in the heat of the moment, and now it's like, like, all hell is breaking, breaking loose. Like, look at that. 
look at that. Nah. And, and they're a know-it-all. They're a know-it-all. So they're like, uh, yeah, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Yeah, this person is, um, this person is difficult, to say the least. They've got a lot of work to do on themselves. Um, yeah, but it's interesting because, uh, person, okay, yeah, I'm trying to get my people straight. <laughs> um, alright, so... Basically, person, uh, two is like, it's like this on the ground in front of me. Person two was like, this is person two. This is person one. Person two was like, yeah, no, you're kind of like, look at that. That's the star is like a wish fulfilled, but like, I also just see like a happy, healthy person taking care of their inner child because like. These are, like, old childhood things that are being triggered, and they're, like, walking away with their cup filled. You see that? Their cup filled. They're, they're flying away with it, and they're taking care of themselves, and they're actually getting sleep at night because they're saying they're walking away from this dead, either a dead, um, I feel, I feel more like this is a life sucker. Like, this person is a spiritual vampire. They try to take as much as they can from you with as, give as little as they can to you in return. And basically you are at their mercy. Like that's you on the wheel. And like they just keep burning you. They just keep hurting you. And they don't really care because they're just like, they're kind of dead inside maybe. And um, yeah, they've they've got a lot of problems. And so it's like you've chosen that's the thing about the wheel of fortune. You have to have power over it. You have to get off of it. You've chosen to get off of the wheel. You've chosen to be cardinal and move forward. Cardinals uh, in the zodiac are leaders, okay? So you look at you're literally waving. You're like, "Bye. Goodbye to the pain you caused me. Goodbye to the control that you have over me. Goodbye to the life that you suck out of me." Goodbye to all this darkness, all this death, all this decay, all this craziness, the moon lunacy. All right? And you're, like, sleeping soundly at night. And they're like, wait! I need to eat your brain! I need to eat your brain and tell you really abusive things so that you stay! Get back on the wheel so I can torture you and abuse you! And you're like, bye bye <laughs> bye bye And then this also came out with them. That's your guardian angel. The three of pentacles in the regular deck is like three people. It's not three. It's like it's the angels, the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, and the humans working towards a common purpose. So like that's your angel looking down on you. Like yes, you've vanquished your enemy. You've you've passed the test. Keep going. You're doing a good job. Like you're moving forward. This came out behind everything. Like, like they're, they're literally behind, got your back because look, you've got your eyes shut and you're moving forward and you're like, no, I don't need to deal with this because I'm bigger than that. And I'm just going to keep moving forward and doing the right thing and having good karma and being good to people. And if, if this person is a family member, like when they're, when, Okay, so I, I I'm getting ahead of myself. So you're just like I'm I'm going ahead and I'm I'm having good karma and that's your guardian angel like yep, that's the guides guardians ancestors and angels like yep good job like we're right here behind you, we got your back we got your back keep your, like if you're looking back keep your eyes shut because there's no need to look back just keep moving forward just just keep swimming just keep swimming, cool. All right. And then what came out after that is, um, so this person, so once you detach, basically, this person wants to come back because this whole time, this person has had their back to you. So there you are as the chariot and there they are. And they're like, I don't care. I don't need you. I can live my life without you. Whatever. I don't care. But then they saw, okay, now the hermit is all alone. And look at these footprints right here. 
Like, then you were like, fine. If you don't love me, fine. You don't love me. You don't want to, you don't want me in your life. Sibling, friend, lover. Fine. I guess I'll show myself out. And look at him looking over his shoulder like, huh? You, sh you showing yourself out? You're not gonna take the abuse? You're not gonna wait around while I, while I throw my fit? Why are you leaving? And you're like, well, you told me to, so I guess I will because it's for my best good and my gut instinct tells me to and my gut instinct are my angels, so I'm going to. And he's like, what? Huh? And then literally what he's looking over his shoulder is all his blessings like crashing down coming crashing down and being taken away like he is he or she is start person person one is starting to see the error of their ways they're like wait a second i had a really good thing going here i had a really really good thing going here and i was kind of just like acting out i was I wanted to act however I wanted, and then I wanted to persecute person two and tell them how to act, and it wasn't really working out, but, I, like, sorry, I got a little distracted for a second. It's, it's like the messages were flowing, and then they stopped. So, they were like, I just want to act however I act, and person two always stuck around, and now, wait a second, I told him... I tested him, and I told him to leave, and now they're leaving. And look at it, it's all coming crashing down around, and they're finally seeing... I feel like they're finally having appreciation for you. They, But they're not telling you. That's the thing. There's still no communication, because their back is still turned to you. I also feel like this person really tries to make themselves look better than they are. I str Oh, it's this way. I strongly feel like... They lie about themselves in order to make themselves look better than they are. Um, and I strongly feel like they put on a, fa a false self-mask. So this is them and this is you. And I feel like you have always been facing forward in this fight. And you have... And, like, look at You've got on armor and a shield and a knife. And you were cutting, but you were cutting for... Like, your communication was cutting for a good cause. And I feel like you're very transparent, but you are guarded. And you're just yourself, but you don't let people walk all over you and hurt you. But you always face forward and keep doing the right thing. Person... Person two, anyway. And then I feel like person one is, like, not as trans... Because, like, see, they're during the day, they're up on the mountain, they're, like... They're naked, they're exposed, and, like, they're, they're just them. But they, they are heavily armed in the sense that they are not here for the bullshit. And then this person, it's, like, nighttime. It's a little more suspicious for person one. They're, like, half-clothed, but, like, their drapings are really fancy. And I feel like it's... And, and I'm, I'm only saying... I know this is an Egyptian card, okay? But, like, this one is them, too, and, like... They're also really fancily robed, and, like, I just feel like they're always trying to make themselves look better than they are. Put themselves in a better light than they actually are. Like, and look, there goes the moon again. Like, I feel like this person's a little crazy. And, um, and that's not a very nice word. I feel like this person has some mental health issues. There is a shadow side to them that needs addressing, and they just ignore it. Um... And they turn their back on you. But you were ready to fight for the relationship. Um, person two was ready to fight for the relationship. But you eventually just move, started to move on and, like, have your own life. Uh, but once, yeah, so once you did just, like, walk away... Once you did walk away and then kind of, like, show them your absence, let them feel your absence, they were, they, and start to grow yourself and do more for yourself, you, your life started to flourish and you kind of, like, got rid of some dead weight and things just started to get better for you. And they were like, hey, wait a second. I would like to have better things with them, too. 
I would, I, I want a piece of that. Or they're starting to feel bad, they're starting to miss you, and they're starting to realize what they've lost. They're just, maybe now that they don't have you around, they're like, oh, well, I don't really get to talk to someone as much, or I don't really, um, you know, nobody, nobody, I never have as much fun doing this as I did with my sister, or I never have as much of a good talk with, with anybody as I did my friend, or, you know, I never loved as been somebody as much as I loved that person, if it was your lover. So now they're like, I want that back. Now that there has been absence, they can actually appreciate you. So here they come. Here they come. They're like coming and they're going to they're going to expose themselves like they're going to do more than they've ever done before in the sense of like apology and exposing any lies they may have had, any lies they may have had for you, but um they're also going to make themselves look better than they actually are. Cuz like look Look at all of his, like, chains and his fanciness and his adornments. And also he's, like, look at that stance. Like, that's a really, like, oh, like, here I come. Here I come to grace you with my presence. Like, oh, God, can I roll my eyes to the back of my head? Just kidding. But, like, yeah. And you just have to remember your worth when they come around acting like they're so great. Remember your worth. Because I strongly feel like they want to get back into your home or or they want you back in their home or like for the holidays they they want to share their home with you or they like want to share they I strongly feel as though they want to share holiday time together. They want to celebrate with you. They want to cook with you, they want to eat with you, they want to drink with you, they want to be with you. They want to spend time with you. If they have kids, they want their kids to spend time with you. Um, but they're just not telling you this because their pride is way too strong and it's just not getting them anywhere. But however, there is change for the holidays. There is death, which is change. Death does not mean an actual death. It means the death of a situation. It can mean the death of an argument. I think that's exactly what it means. It means the ending of an argument and the fool is a new beginning. So the death and a new death and rebirth. So, the end of the old relationship, rebirth of the new one. This is amazing. I really want to, want to get a good, good view of these. There. Yeah, that's really, that's amazing. <laughs> They were right after each other. That's incredible. Yeah, this relationship is going to be renewed. And yet I have more cards. Um, yeah, so... I strongly feel like if you've been praying for this... Like, if you've been praying just for your family to get along more, if you've been praying for this fight to come to an end, if you're... If you've been, um, like, I feel strongly that you're, that you're a spiritual person and you've been communicating to the universe that you want this to end. And so these are romance cards, but, like, I'm reading them intuitively. Um, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. But how I'm reading this, look at she's literally taking a piece of paper and burning it. So I feel like it's like you need to release this. It's like as soon as you released this person and like they're controlling energy, that's when they realized how valuable you were to them because you weren't in their clutches anymore. So it's like you have to keep that released. That way um, you can still have control over your life and, but still maintain a healthy relationship with them if, you know, like, I'm never telling anybody to get back into something toxic, but if it's family, it's a little more complicated. Um, but yeah, also when I'm thinking of this, if you are like, 
manifesting and you're writing stuff and burning it, or if you're burning ancestor money to feed your ancestors, to ask for your prayers to be answered. Tonight, literally, if you're watching this, and I just saw 2455. Five. Yes, do that. So what you need to do is you need to write down exactly what you want, put the five-pointed star on it, the star of creation, the circle around it, and burn it. Like, and make it short, simple, sweet, to the point, and say thank you, and just, like, if you're like, I just say, I ask the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels to please, um, bring peace and harmony to my family. Do not use negative words like fight, because the universe can't decipher, it will only see the, it will, don't say, like, stop fighting, because it will only see the word fight, it can't decipher negatives. So say, like, bring peace and harmony to my family and bring us together for the holidays. Amen, Ashe. Put the sigil, fold it up, pray over it, burn it. Yeah, that's what you need to do because, look, there's, all this is darkness. There's the light at the end of the tunnel. And you can't really see, but there's a little bit of smoke and there's the fire and she's burning her petition to clear her energy. And this... Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I feel as though you can feel the person you're arguing with, like their energy is right there with you, but they're just not... Like, you can feel they want to reconcile with you, but they're acting like they don't, and you need to see it in the physical realm because that's where we live. And then 100% religious factors. Like, your this... You're manifesting, you're praying, you're, <coughs> you're using your spirituality to bring um, harmony. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That's for if it's love, but I feel like to end this fight, like you really are using magic. And let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. So... Yeah, if you need to vent about it, vent about it. But I more feel like this is like sometimes like I I notice about this that the angel is like giving that girl the side eye as she touches that woman's crown. First of all, if you're getting your hair done by anybody, be very careful that of whoever you let touch your head because that is your direct source to God and and like source. It's your halo, it's your crown chakra, so you have to be really careful who you let touch your head. But also, like, this person might try to infiltrate back into your life through your friends, through mutual friends, um, they, through other siblings, um, but I also think that if you need to talk about it, vent about it with friends, um, also strategize with friends about... Like, unbiased opinions. Like, go out... As long as you trust these people. Make sure that these are people that you trust. But, like, if you need an unbiased opinion, find someone you really care about, who you know really cares about you, to get a little advice on the situation. Like, I think it's just saying... I think it's saying don't be afraid to ask the right people for help, but make sure you're asking the right people. And this, there will be a reconciliation. This is worth waiting for. The reconciliation is worth waiting for. The relationship, whether it be friendship, sibling, husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, this person wants you in, your, in their life for life. They want you by their side for life. They can finally see how much they appreciate you. They can finally see how much they love you. They can finally see how much they need you. And how much you added to their life when you were in it. And they do, they really want to reconcile. And the reconciliation is worth waiting for while this person deals with their demons. Because they do love you, they're just selfish. Divine timing is at work in your life and someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, last three cards. Fill up your well, rest, retreat, refuel. So like I said, just keep yourself... Keep yourself... 
doing what's best for yourself and keep yourself separated to the healthiest extent from the spiritual vampire and keep the keep it yourself separated from the um control and then priestess how are you being called to step up and lead i think this is the spiritual aspect all of the spiritual things that you're doing all of the spiritual steps that you're taking and being the the shaper of your own future and then don't dim to fit in how are you dimming your light in order to fit in maybe you um have never really spoken up to this person before maybe yeah maybe you haven't haven't spoken up to this person before and you were considering never doing it again because it created such a big fight and it just felt like it wasn't worth it. But that's, the cards are saying, no, that's not fair. It's, we've got to compromise. Don't, just because some people can't handle your light and they can't handle the light that you shed on the truth doesn't mean that you, that it shouldn't exist. You can't dim just to fit in. You, we just have to figure out a way that you guys can work together. So it, it seems as though from the beginning that the communication was a little cutting and it kind of just got blurted out. So it's like, don't dim the message, but maybe just make it a little more palatable and easy to digest. But definitely don't dim it. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay, that was really good. Um, I'm glad I got that message out. It's been brewing for a couple days. Um, please talk to each other. Please resolve things. Please like this video if it made sense to you. Um, leave me a comment if you want. Subscribe if you want. And come back another time if you want. Alright. I guess I'll see you another time hopefully. And um, have a nice night or day. Bye.